Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Jade Empire. I am your host, Selves Leader Carson, and let's get the show on the road. Now, we, as you last left off, we had just saw a big battle, and Master Lee just destroyed that giant ship, which is his, his freaking fist. That, that's, that's a shocker, man. I, I can't believe that. I was like, whoa, that's, that's not, wow, that's me right there. It's a good thing we have Master Lee here. Fendo. Don't forget his senior student. They say he's the one who dealt with many of the bandits. Those Let's bandits talk. will think twice before threatening a town protected by the likes of Master Lee. They were fools to even come here. Indeed, you're right. The only shame is that their ship sunk. Think what we could have done with their plunder. Ah, well, that's another opportunity lost. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In this town, it's vital for a businessman to keep tabs on anyone with two coins to rub together. Things haven't been this slow since the long drought. Uh, that master of yours keeps things ludicrously stable while merchants thrive on strife. During the long drought, prices rocketed into the sky like fireworks. Uh-huh. You don't like Master Lee's leadership? Is that what you're saying, sir? Is that what you're saying? I can't say that. He's a wise man who sees to the heart of things. If I were to complain about anything, it's how few students he attracts. A skilled master could bring a lot of people into this town, but he is very selective about who comes. That's his business, I'm sure, but it affects my business as well. Huh? Why? There's no trade to be found in stability? I get by. I suppose I shouldn't wish for strife, lest it come knocking on my door. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Besides, the bandits didn't do as much to bring people to the store as I hoped. So, maybe stability is underrated. Let's talk about what you can do for me. Happily. We don't need to waste time on my gripes when there's silver to be spent. Wow, you're a cheapo. Um... Yeah, for those who don't know, Jade Empire is, well, the game, obviously, but the Empire is called Jade Empire. So, before you ask anything, that's what you'll have to under later. You'll, la you'll, you'll later understand. I have nothing at the moment. I can't keep my stock up. People are scared to travel, which prevents goods from getting here. I must apologize. You make me angry. I'm gonna have to beat you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Let's ask him. How can you call yourself a merchant if you have nothing to sell? I do what I can, but the ghosts and bandits limit travel. They viciously force many caravans to turn back. To hear some of the caravan masters talk, there are problems of this type all over the Empire. I will be sure to let you know as soon as anything comes to town. Okay. Okay, let's just... Goodbye for now. He's got Do nothing. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. Right. Right. Wait. Which one do you mean? Surely not that arrogant gal boy. Don't be silly. He's the one with that marvelous dragon tattoo on his back. He oh. must have quite a few young ladies pining after him by now. You mean this right here? This dragon tattoo? They say he's incredibly strong and can outlast almost anyone in the school. I know I'm incredibly strong. Hey, boys. Look who it is. Is that the one gal the Lester's always going on about? What the hell? I think so. I say we teach a little lesson about staying in your place when, when great men like Gao are around. Um, let's see, wait. Yeah, I would say this. There is no honor in thrashing a bunch of drunks. We're twice the men you are, drunk or sober. <laughs> really? Teach us whelp a lesson manners. Legendary strike. Oh, yeah. oh god, oh god. Let's go, boy. It's just you and me. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's just you now. It's just you now. Oh yeah. And Oh, you stole my glory. It, the kill was supposed to be mine. 
I was supposed to kick his butt. But you stole my glory, Dawnstar. You're forgiven for now, Dawnstar. Let's go back to the master. Here we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, there it is. Meditation time. I should sound like that blues clue saying da da da. Meditation time. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be. That would be hella stupid. I'm not gonna do that. No. Okay, let's just go through the front door right here. The school gate has been opened. Uh, Kia Min. You are the hero of the moment. Gao claims that he dealt with hordes of bandits, but everyone else agrees that you turned aside their main attack. Okay. It is good that you were here. My foolish lack of attention forced Master Lee to come to my rescue, and left me with a wound that will take a few weeks to heal. Master Lee assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. Oh, really? What sort of prize? Smiling Mountain trains students in group combat. And just yesterday, I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. Okay, I'll do it. If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record. But I can't face anyone with this wound. Is there anything I can do to help your wound? Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Master Lee has already tended to it. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure. He's quite interested in herbs. Okay. Would this herb he heal you quickly enough that you could fight again? I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. Okay. Do you know, remember if the herb grows around here? I don't think it's a common plant, no. The only person I can think of who might know for sure would be Old Ming. Okay. How much would something like that cost? I'm not sure, but if you had to buy it, I'd happily pay you back for the trouble you went. This wound will heal in time regardless, but I wouldn't complain if it knitted faster. All the quicker to return to my training. I've heard, I think I've heard enough about this herb. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask. If I'm lucky, he might know of an herb. And if heaven smiles upon me, he'll know where to find it. If you have to buy anything, let me know what it costs and I'll pay you back happily. Okay. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after... Okay, yeah, so basically we might help her in the future. I wish I had seen Master Lee destroy the bandits. That style he used sounded impressive. Smiling Mountain. I heard how you faced those bandits in the village. Many people are impressed, but I expected no less. Your skill is a match for any rough bandit. What is that supposed to be? Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do... Yes, and the students are on edge from the bandit attack. It would do them good to work some of that out. It is a shame about Kia Min. She holds the record for the most opponents defeated in my little training chat. I have a little something tucked away for anyone who can best Kia Min's feet. That includes you, of course, but any attempt will have to wait until she is healed. Would I be able to beat her record? Oh wait, what? Why does she... Yeah. You could match it, but with Kia Min injured, there aren't enough students free to beat it. You will have to wait until she is healed to challenge the record. Okay. Is there any way to cure me, Kia Min? Her wound was not mortal, but it was severe enough that I will not let her fight as she is. I suppose you could ask her if there's anything you could do to help. Goodbye. 
All right, folks, let's just go help her so I can beat the record. Here we go. Running fast now. I'm really surprised the loading in this is very fast now. Like, when this came out for the Xbox, this thing was really going slow on loading, but this, in the Xbox form, this is really fast. <laughs> that's a, I think that's a Saving Private Ryan reference. Hello, Mr. Old Ming. Why are you looking at this? Okay. Okay. Nararo, na pirar pirni, nik takatasi. Unnikasurir kwana no kuni uk nawata ear, nik nipi ear. Hmm. One of the students was wounded, wounded during the bandit attack. Tawi ear kwana ear suni ear ipoki. Wunno weir na no ba ear su. Isana yuyo. A poultice made from red silk grass clippings. Niato no napadi irovir. Kuni ugnawata ir. Merchant Fendo should have some, but don't let him talk you into clippings of bearded tongue grass. That won't do at all. Well, what's the difference between the two grasses? Irkana. So Let me read it because I don't like it that this guy's. Well, first off, I don't like his really, really scrawny eyes. That's like you can barely see it. Like he looks like he's close. He's closing his eyes and just talking. Like I see you there. Now let me talk to you and I will act so cool that I cannot even see you. Anyways, red silk grass will actually bind the wound and make it so she can get back to her practices. That's why you want it. Bearded tongue grass will act, will make her feel the same, but it's only dead, deadening the pain. It doesn't actually, it doesn't actually do her any good. For most people, bearded tongue grass would be fine. But I know the fool girl would start practicing again and tear something vital. That's, uh, that could leave her crippled. Thank you for your help. Remember, you need the red silk grass. Usair Kokonato Tanatia Katanano Shafatoyo Kokonato Siri Panoniko. Thank you for your help. To go to Otoaso. Yes, thank you, old man. I will go and Bye bye. Let's go. Okay, so remember, folks, we need the red silk grass. I think it's kind of a BS call to, to cheat our friend like this. I'm not going to do it. A potential customer is a welcome customer. I agree with that idea. What can I do for you? Hmm. I'm gonna show you here. Hmm. Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of, no, to make a difference. That's it. <laughs> right, right. I heard that before. Anyway, I've checked my stocks and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. Okay. I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. It might take a bit of the sting away. Old Ming suggested red silk grass to cure her, her wound. Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. What's that? 
Get her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. Mm, no. I'll take the red silk grass. I want her to be able to, to fight safely. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. Okay. Surely you're not going to charge full price for a humanitarian cause. Business has been slow. What am I supposed to do? Starve? How large is your profit on this herb? Large enough to justify your kind of reluctance? Um, that girl's wound warned us of the bandits. You would dismiss that out of hand? Yes, I would say something like that. You're right. That wouldn't be just given the circumstances. As much as I hate to do it, I can knock a few silvers off the price for you. Good. Here's 40 silver. <laughs> yes, I'm cheap like that, folks. An excellent choice. I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. Well, good on you, sir. I didn't know you could do that. There you go. Her pain will fade quickly and the binding effects of red silk grass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and <laughs> I hope it makes your friend better quickly. It better, or you're a dead man. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. Red silk grass poultice. Okay. Here we go, folks. I'm coming. I'm coming, Kiamen. What kind of name is that, though? Kiamen. K-I-A Min. Killed in action. Min. Oh, no. <laughs> I bet you the parents of that person are probably thinking, Oh no, what have we named our child? This has been a we busy named her, day for us all. We named Is her, there something you need? We named her Killed in Action Min. I have a poultice that should help your wound. The sun breaks through the clouds when I hear news like this. Heavens, I can already feel it working. That's amazing. Yes, yes, this should be perfect. The poultice must have cost you some silver. Let me repay you. What did... It was only... It was only 25 silver. I don't think she needs to repay me. I'm doing something that's nice. There's no need to repay me. I couldn't just leave you wounded. That's very kind of you. I can't thank you enough. If you're interested in trying to set a new record for Smiling Mountain's special prize, whatever it is, then I'll be ready. Goodbye. See, folks, I am a good person. I'm a good buddy already. Oh, that's looking a bit pretty. Look, it's sparkling. I like that. Okay, first, I want to look at some of the controls. Give me a minute. Controls. Um, keyboard. Okay, alright. Okay, Q and tab. Okay, thank you. That's all I needed to know. That's all I wanted to know, folks. How do you change your enemies and opponents? What can I do for you? I am here to serve. Can we talk about Kiamin? What is there to say? She tells me that she is feeling much better. If you wish to face her, I will allow. I would like to challenge Kiamin's record. Kiamin says that she is feeling well, and her wound seems to be already healing. I believe she will provide a fine challenge for you. If you win this match, then I will have a special reward for you. Good fortunes. Alrighty, let's do it. Four people. Uh oh! Ah! Hey, that was off guard! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's just you and me now. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, that's cheating. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, yeah. 
in your face, lady. Come on, come on, let's go. Yo, yo! I didn't even have to try. <laughs> well done. As promised, here is a reward for setting a new standard. Kia Min is eager to try again, but I asked her to rest for now. She seems well, despite her earlier injury. <laughs> is there anything else you wish at the moment? What kind of items or additional training do you say? Ah, yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. Okay. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Okay. Um, let's show me what you have. Let's see what you can learn. Belly of Iron, Heart of Gland. Oh God, I don't want to do something like this. Hmm. Shoot. If I choose Focus, can I sell anything? Ah, oh, damn it, I can't sell anything. Yeah, I I think we're just gonna. Yeah, we're gonna back off. What's alloyed body? Oh, and I got a hundred silver at the same time. Um, let's see. Okay, let's let's go find it, folks. Alloyed body. Here we go. Plus five, plus five. Oh yeah, then sure we can lower health a little what? bit. Hold on. Sure, we'll do it. Why not? One, two. Something's telling me not to do it, so I will not do it. There we go. Okay, Master Lee, I'm ready. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. Indeed, I agree with you on that, Master. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. They are? You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the Spirit Cave. I see. I object! What the? Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling him, you would have many promising students instead of one. No one is denying your skill, Gal. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gal. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment, and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If he is truly better than me, let him prove it. I challenge him. Oh boy. If, you, if that is what you wish, I will accept. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Yes, master. Gao? You are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobbled before I begin. Of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. All right, I will. I want to talk. I want to ask about this cave and the bandit leader. No, wait, can you tell me anything about this? About the lion statue in the other room? An amusement left by the previous master of this school, meant to test the students with basic problem solving. I haven't bothered to have it removed. 
You are free to do as you wish with it. I think it still functions. There are figurines in the chest next to it that are part of the riddle it presents. Just don't let it interfere with more important tasks. I do not favor such unsophisticated diversion. Yes, master. I want to ask about this cave and the bandit leader. I will explain what I can after we have dealt with Gao's interruption. I don't want to confuse matters. Trust that I am right. All right. All right. I trust you. I will return when I'm ready, master. Remember the basics. They will serve you well. I'm already regretting the basics. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, so let me think here. Master Lee does not demonstrate his skills very often. He must have been very concerned for your safety. Okay, so that's how you do it. Let me practice this. Those bandits learned a hard lesson. Master Lee is not a man to stand by while the town is attacked. Same with you. When something has to be done, you do it. Indeed. What can I do? Are you interested in sparring? I would like it to would beat be you honor. up. Are you sure you have time? I can always use the practice. Let's begin. Excellent. Let's find a quieter spot to spar. Once we're finished, I'll have to return here. And... Yes. You must learn from the best in order to become a the best. Legendary strike! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you got. Come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh crap! He's got thousand cuts. Oh crap! What the? How dare you strike at me like that? Insolence shall be put, shall be beaten up later for breaking my sweat. All right, I'm gonna cut the video off right here, folks. So thank you very much for watching. Wait, get out of the way, lady. There you go. So, thank you very much for watching, and to the next. Okay, bye bye. Ending video.